Welcome back po sa ating YouTube channel. So for today's video, ay isosolve naman po natin ang item number 114 and 115 sa ating mock examination. So without any further ado, let us start with question number 114. The ratio of the number of boys and girls in a college is 7 is to 8. If the percentage increase in the number of boys and girls be 20%, and 10% respectively. What will be the new ratio? 8 is to 9, 17 is to 18, 21 is to 22, or letter D cannot be determined. So first, let us understand the problem. Ang sabi dito, yung initial ratio of the number of boys and girls in a college is 7 is to 8. Now, if there is an increase no, in the percentage of the ratio between the number of boys and girls, let's say mag increase yung 7 ng 20% at yung 8 mag increase ng 10%, ano daw yung ating bagong ratio? Actually, ang solutions nito po ay halos magkahalintulad lang sa item number 112 sa ating mock examination. And by the way, kung hindi nyo pa po napanood yung other videos natin, yung mga solutions sa ating mock examination sa numerical ability na part, you can check description box below for the link of the video. So, balik po tayo dito sa ating problem. Ang sabi dito, yung 7 mag increase ng 20% at yung 8 mag increase ng 10%. So, as usual, gagamitin po natin yung ating percentage trick kung paano kunin ang percentage of any number ng mabilisan. So, dito, kunin muna natin ang 10% of 7, which is 0.7, kasi imumove lang po natin ang decimal point from right to left ng isang movement. So, 0.7 is the 10%. Now, since 20% ang kailangan natin, so, dalawang 0.7. So, ang dalawang 0.7 is just 1.4. So therefore, 1.4 is already the 20% of 7. Ganun lang kabilis, di ba? This also means 7 plus 1.4. Kasi iaad po natin yung 20% of 7. So 7 plus 1.4 and that is equal to 8.4. At dito naman, kunin po natin ang 10% of 8. So one movement from right to left. So that means the 10% of 8 0.8. So now, we have 8 plus 0.8 and that is equal to 8.8. .8. At ang ibig sabihin po nito, yung bagong ratio natin is 8.4 is to 8.8. .8. But we need to simplify this into its simplest form. So kunin po muna natin ang GCD nito para ma-divide po natin sa 8.4 and 8.8 .8 para ma-simplify natin. Okay? At para makuha po natin ang GCD ng 8.8 .8 and 8.4, gagamitin po natin ang Euclidean algorithm. So now we have 8.8 .8 equal to 8.4 times 1 plus, ilan na lang ang kulang para mag 8.8? .8? Yes, 0.4. So 8.4 times 1 plus 0.4 and that is equal to 8.8. .8. Gamit naman po ang dalawang numbers na ito, Continue lang po natin dito sa baba. So we have 8.4 equal to 0.4 times 21 plus 0. Now, bakit nag times 21 tayo? So para hindi po tayo malito, wag na muna nating isipin yung decimal point. So di ba pag sinabing 21 times 4, that is equal to 84. So parang ito lang din yun. 21 times 0.4 is equal to 8.4. Di ba? Ang teknik lang po talaga kapag nagmumultiply kayo ng ganitong mga may decimal point, tanggalin nyo muna yung decimal point sa isip ninyo kasi yun po ang nagpapalito sa inyo. Now, balik po tayo dito. Kung ano po yung nasa taas ni 0, yan na po yung GCD. So that means the GCD of 8.8 .8 and 8.4 is just 0 0.4. At ang ibig sabihin po nito, i-divide pala natin yung 8.8 .8 and 8.4 by 0 0.4. So that means 8.4 divided by 0 0.4 and that is equal to 21. Kasi nga, di ba, 21 times 4 and that is equal to 84. So tinanggal natin sa isip natin yung decimal point para hindi tayo malito. Dito naman, 8.8 uh, .8 divided by 0 0.4 and that is equal to 22. 
Kasi nga, 22 times 4, and that is equal to 88. So, tanggalin sa isip yung decimal point para matanggal din yung lito. So, therefore, the new ratio of boys to girls after the percentage increase will be approximately 21 is to 22. And that is letter C. I hope that makes sense. So now let's proceed with question number 115. The sum of three numbers is 98. If the ratio of the first to second is 2 is to 3, and that of the second to the third is 5 is to 8, then the second number is blank. Now, let us first extract all the given data. So let us say this is our first number, second number, and this is our third number. Now, since common po yung second number, so i-align po natin. So this is 2 is to 3, and this is 5 is to 8. In-align po natin ang second number kasi common po ito ng dalawang ratios. First to second, second to third. At i-multiply lang po natin ang 3 at saka 5. That means 3 times 5. And that is equal to 15. Yung 5 naman, multiply po natin sa ating first number. And also, yung 3, multiply natin sa ating third number. So, 2 times 5, and that is equal to 10. 3 times 8, and that is equal to 24. So, now we have 10 is to 15 is to 24. And now, let's get the sum of these three numbers. 10 plus 15 plus 24, and that is equal to 49. At yung sum na 49, ito yung i-divide natin kay 98. So, 98 divided by 49, and that is equal to 2. At yung 2 naman, ito yung i-multiply natin sa tatlong numbers na ito para ma-check natin if the sum of these three numbers is really 98. So, we have 10 times 2, and that is equal to 20. 15 times 2, and that is equal to 30. 24 times 2, and that is equal to 48. Now, let's get the sum of these three numbers. 20 plus 30, and that is equal to 50. Plus 48, and that is equal to 98. And our second number is 30. Ito po yung hinahanap natin. So therefore, the correct answer is letter B. Again, paulit-ulit po nating sinasabi sa ating mga videos na wag po ninyong i-memorize yung mga given sa mga problems kasi hindi po talaga yan lalabas. Ang i-memorize nyo po or yung i-master ninyo is yung technique or kung paano natin sinagutan yung problem. Actually, Pwede naman kayong mag-practice uh, ng ganitong klasing problem pero ibahin nyo po yung mga given para in case na maka-encounter kayo ng ganitong klasing problem sa actual na examination, madali na lang na masagutan. I hope this video makes sense to you in reviewing for the upcoming civil service examination. At kung bago ka pa lang po sa ating channel, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.